Uh, this is a video on the Preston Dot 3 brake fluid. Here's what it should like look like. I just poured some out of this into here. It's like a little darker than water. But it's pretty clear. I just poured uh, some out of this into there. And uh, here's the ratings on the back. This one's really good. It's a... Uh, Get the phone to focus. It's a dot three fifty thousand mile fluid life synthetic. Yeah, it's focusing in better. Uh, compel compatibility all ABS disc and drum systems requiring dot three fluid. Uh, it's fifty thousand mile fluid life. Fluid type synthetic specification F M V S S. I think that means uh, S maybe S A E or some S S or something uh, five seven one point one one six and S E S A E sorry J one seven zero three prevents corrosion of all metals within the brake system corrosion protection. That's pretty much, uh, here's the ingredients. That's uh, pretty much like, uh, glycols and ether and, uh, tetraethylene. This is the main ingredients in it. And I'll just get across and you can pause it if you want to read the ingredients. Kind of wraps around the bottle here. And of course, there's a warning it's not food, it could cause cancer or reproductive harm. Uh, the brand's Prestone Duck 3 Brake Fluid Full Synthetic. The synthetic. Uh, 50,000 mile fluid life. Prevent overheating and brake feed with high grade formula. Oh, this is pretty good. It's like a almost a dot four rating here the dot four other bottle of Preston like a little closer it's like right around 500 or right under it this is just below that uh, this is four dot three that specifies dot three they're dot four this this bar is higher like the conventional other brands like here and this one's here but dot three conventional brands is there and uh this is like the most brands are around this and then the this brand way up here closer to dot four rating uh, but this is the fluid color right out of the bottle kind of a little bit a tint of a tint to it tiny bit of a tint to it and uh not much that it's almost the color of water or Probably it's the same color as like tap water that ain't that great or close to it. Uh, that's like a straight out of the bottle. That's what it should look like. So if yours is dirty, which uh, mine is, I had to, I need to flush the brakes, but all I did was pump the reservoir dry and I got this fluid out of it here. That's probably the factory fill. Uh, I need to bleed the brakes, but it's, it's super dirty. Uh, the inside of the reservoir is dirty. There's little flakes of something in there. You can see it through there. It's really dirty. If yours is looking like that, it's time to give it a flush. I need to flush mine, but I like doing it with two people. So I'm pressing the brake pedal three times, holding it to the floor, and uh, opening the bleed me opening the bleeder valve and draining it into the container i just used a little pump to the walmart 25 dollar pump to pump the reservoir dry 
and then the little tube that I bought with this this other pump that don't seem to work they're like a test ball tube looking thing but I use that water pump or I mean uh, not water pump I use this Walmart pump is what I meant to say and then there's the test ball one and this hose comes with the test ball I just use that hose all you need is a hose that's thinner like that you could this one worked out to shove it into this into this one uh, the fitting here I just shoved it into the end of that one it's skinnier so I was able to get that into the end of the reservoir and suck out all the fluid but that's how dark it is I knew it was getting dark I just strained and filled it somewhat like two years ago it's already that nasty the inside of the reservoir is all nasty it should look like this but that's what it's looking like so it needs flush more I'll have to do it when I have more time and someone to help me uh, but uh yeah this is what the fluid should look like here for the uh, dot three it should be almost as clear as water or about as clear as tap water it ain't that great so if your fluids looking real dark like this one then you'll need to change it. I'll see if I can get the light on it. That's what it looked like in the reservoir. Maybe with a little light. It's kind of like a dark amber color. Like, or like when I showed it here. Through there. Really dark stuff. It needs drain and It needs flush completely. But I need. I, I like using two people. One person to pump the pedal three times. Hold the brake while I open the bleeder valve and uh, have a hose into a container and then tighten it up and after a couple times top the reservoir or once every time usually top the reservoir off for every couple of times but uh see there's all stuff floating in it even and the whole reservoir looks, looks gunky I thought about spraying with brake clean but it's like it's not meant to use in parts like that. I'd probably have to let it dry out if I did spray the inside with this. I think all I can do is bleed it a bunch of times with a few bottles of this. And I uh, have a, someone pressing the brake pedal with the engine off and uh, holding it to the floor and then opening the bleeder valve and draining it. But I want to make a video to show you uh, what the clean fluid looks like if that's what it looks like there uh, maybe I'll make a flush video later uh, it's better out two people one person holding the pressing the brake pedal about three times holding the pedal and then the other person opening the bleeder screw with the tube on it and draining the fluid into a container and and then uh about every once or twice of doing that, topping the fluid reservoir back off.